Hi guys, how's it going? Today I want to speak about the subject of is happiness attainable? Well, I think it depends on what your definition of happiness is. Everybody has different ways of looking at life. Some people look at life with a glass half full mentality. Some other people look at life with a glass half empty outlook at life. So if you're one of those people who's always looking at everything as empty, meaning negative, well, uh, happiness is going to be very hard to attain. Uh, for example, if your only happiness is you driving a Lamborghini and living in a mansion, well, that's going to be tough, except if you <laughs> already have that money. But if you kind of see the world as a cool place where, hey, for example, I'm living in Los Angeles and California, the sun is shining, weather is beautiful most of the time, we have the beach next door, we have so many available places to have fun and just being in the city and you're happy with that, then maybe the fact that uh, you're healthy, living in a sunny place and all that, that is your happiness. So then it is attainable. So by that, I mean that really happiness is a kind of state of mind. It's almost how the monks, sometimes they, you, know, you see them in movies or in documentaries and stuff, trying to get enlightenment, trying to meditate and you see them uh, staying, getting this uh, into this uh, state of mind where they're basically uh, enlightened. And I think that happiness is what they're seeking in some way. It's a kind of a content, kind of one within the world. And there's a lot of things through commercials, through uh, different things that are happening around us that make us always want more and never be satisfied with what we have. And obviously, in some way, it, it is healthy to want more, meaning uh, wanting a better life for yourself, trying to improve yourself, trying to um, take steps to, to kind of do the right thing, to be part of a good human being in society. Those are all great things. But now if uh, they hinder your life because you're always dissatisfied of yourself or everything you do, even no matter how hard you're trying on something, it just makes you mad because it's not going the way that you want. Well, that's, uh, that's negative. <laughs> and then, then you're never gonna be satisfied because no matter how cool or how awesome uh, anything seems in this world, when you're actually living it, it feels different. Um, if let's say your dream was to travel uh, to X and Y country, then you go there because all these videos you were looking at were wonderful, but then you see that the temperature is super humid or super cold and you're disappointed because yeah, it's beautiful, but it's not as cool looking or as fun as uh, people in the videos made it seem like. Well, that's because you had a preconceived idea that kind of uh, was wrong in some way. And now you're not living in the moment. You're not accepting the whatever's happening. You're not accepting the experience of that moment because you're so blocked in your way of how it should be that you're not feeling how it is. And that's kind of like with happiness. So happiness is attainable, but it's a state of mind. It's how you are willing to look at the world, how you're willing to be content and how you're willing to actually overcome things and find your happiness within yourself. That's, that's all I can say. Have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.